Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020, and I just thought to recap my day. This is going to be a story time video of my day today. So, I worked with Jenny, my support provider, and I drove to her house at 9am. We have planned to go blueberry picking and to eat lunch that day. So, I drove to her house and... As you guys know that Snowflake is dying, my pet chicken who's 8 years old, she is holding onto the thread right now. And I updated Jenny on how she's doing, what I wanted to do with Pumpkin, like give her away if she's moving overprotective. And I decided to give her away after Snowflake dies. I have a feeling that she's going to die tonight on Wednesday, but anyways... I went blueberry picking, we drove like 30 minutes away to Canby, Oregon, and we followed the rules and regulations of the berry farm. We went last year before the virus started, but it was very organized and neat when we arrived. We had our own bucket, and then there was a bath that was already in there. To protect it from the container and then we had to pick a aisle and then pay, pick up a piece of paper of what aisle we we're in and then no one was supposed to be down the aisle and we had to wear a face mask checking in and checking out when we got into a row we didn't have to wear a face mask because I was with my provider Jenny and it was only dedicated to only us two. We picked for a good hour. I had a really awesome conversation with Jenny. I was like happy and bubbly and just really in a good mood that day. I had a great time eating blueberries and just being in a moment of just like blueberry heaven. Mm, I love blueberries. It's my favorite thing to do. And I managed to pick blueberries this summer, which was crazy enough to say I wanted to do this and it made it happen. So I picked seven pounds of blueberries. So this bag was in the container just to keep it from the germs. But I like how they just have a big bag of um, lots of berries when it's finished up. My provider Jenny had a cooler so she picked around 10 pounds. I picked seven and then she had ice in her cooler, so like when we picked up our lunch and when we were heading back home, it was all refrigerated in the nice cooler that she has. So that was pretty cool that I'll have fresh berries. It was hot out, it was like 80 degrees out, 85 degrees out today. And I were out, felt really grateful to just go blueberry picking. Um, and then I wore my day pack. This is my new backpack. I'm going to do a review on this soon. But it's pretty snazzy looking. It's pretty good. I love it a lot. It has back support. I like the straps. It's lightweight. I like the color of it. And it's from REI. So I'm going to do a separate video. But I was drinking a lot too because I was really dehydrated. So we picked up Thai food from her local... Um, Thai food restaurant near her house um, and it was really good. It was my first time having that Thai food place and I got chicken pot Thai and it was so yummy. I have leftovers so I'm gonna eat that for the rest of the week. So we went to her house and um, Jenny texted someone about my chicken pumpkin saying if she would want pumpkin and I'm not going to say who, but she knows someone that has chickens, and I'm giving away pumpkin up tomorrow, or as today as you're watching this, but I'm giving pumpkin away. So, I have been raising chickens for 11 years. I have raised seven chickens, so I have raised five hens and two roosters in 11 years. I was 13 years old when I raised chickens till I was 24. And 
Today is my last afternoon with chickens ever. It's been nice raising them, and I was just so excited just how when Snowflake passes away tonight, Pumpkin will go to a nice home, and the place that Pumpkin is going to, she has like 30 chickens. She knows what she's doing. I feel happy that Pumpkin will have a good home there. So we are doing an hour drive, Today, as you're watching this, my provider said, hey, I'm not doing anything tomorrow morning. Want to just do it right then and there? And I said, yeah, I have nothing planned. And I was so relieved and thrilled just to know that she's going to a nice home and I don't have to have chickens. Because when Snowflake passes away tonight, I will not want to have chickens, especially if Pumpkin is not nice and she's the only chicken I have. So I want her to have chicken friends. So... I'm so excited that I have that planned out. I have a Snickers crate that I'll be using for the time being. I have towels and I have a big thing of food that I'm going to give to them besides the crate. I'm keeping the crate and the towels, but just the big bag of food that I bought. So the new owner of Pumpkin will much appreciate the 35 pounds of chicken food I have. So. The seats will be down in Jenny's car with all the chicken supplies, and I'll be in the back seat too. Um, and I'm just so excited. I am just so grateful that she's going to a good home, and my chicken career is over with. It's been fun, and it's been a really good experience, but this is such a big moment. Like, Jenny problem solved my whole chicken situation for me, and I was jumping up and down, clapping my hands, just like, so happy that she found a good home for her and I know that I'm not going to be that sad even though I raised her since she was two days old. I'm not going to be that sad because it's time to move on. I'm ready for a change. Snowflake is dying. I want Pumpkin to have a nicer home and have more chickens to play with. So it will be bittersweet tomorrow or as as today as you're watching this but I'm just so happy just to send her off because it's been 11 years of raising chickens so I had a chicken in my backyard for 11 years but I have raised three rounds of chickens and I am just so grateful just to have gotten the opportunity to raise awesome chickens so I will still have Snickers so Snickers will be my only pet I have so my rabbit will be my forever person um, that is an animal, in my opinion. We get along so well. So, so chickens are going to go away and I'll have my rabbit with me. And my rabbit is almost five years old. So that is exciting too. That I'll have more attention on him. I don't need to worry about chickens right now. I'm just like, I'm over it. So, and I'm... I'm already grieved, grieving and processing Snowflake's death too. And it's been a very hard, slow process. But Jenny has been a big support supporting me and making sure that I'm okay and just explaining what I want to do with her um, and just how to manage my feelings for me too. But I'm just glad she is going to go back to heaven and she's just in a deep sleep right now. It is Wednesday at 2 p.m. So she is really not doing well. She's just deep breathing a little bit, but she's not moving. She's on her side. Her wing is like under her body. She's not moving. So at least I know that she'll pass away in her sleep sometime tonight. So that's the plan. No more chickens. And Jenny really made me happy because it was... I worked from her um, house and on the farm and I worked at 9 a.m. and I left at 1.30. So it was a longer shift and I loved that. And then Jenny did a big favor for me and she is working with me tomorrow morning to drop her off too. And it's an hour drive there and back. So, And she's going to a place in Washington. So it's going to be a far away home for her. but. I have no regrets and I know this is the best decision on my part because I'm the mom and 
I am officially done with my chicken. So I'm really happy right now. I'm feeling relieved and just grateful that Jenny helped me with all my life problems and she's making sure that she goes to a good home. So I'll probably make a video sometime this afternoon of me saying goodbye to Pumpkin. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.